So the members take their seats. Those not having privileges of the floor, please be excused from chamber. The Kentucky State Legislature in Frankfurt has an exciting program designed for students to learn the workings of state government from the inside. Every two years, specially selected students from all over the state are asked to participate in the legislative internship program. Their primary assignment is to work with the Legislative Research Commission. The Legislative Research uh, Commission is an arm of the legislature. It uh, assists the legislature and takes direction from the legislature. It uh, has the primary responsibility of uh, fact-finding or doing research, uh, bill drafting, and such other matters as uh, the legislature may direct. Senator Allen, Senator Nicholas Baker, Senator Walker, Senator Walter Baker. The legislative interns, I think, are, are very useful to the committees as they are assigned to each of the 15 standing committees in the House and the Senate. And basically at the direction of the committee chairman, and of course at the whole committee when they so direct, they monitor the legislation that's coming to the committee. They carry out special research projects uh, for the chairman on bills that come before us uh, and give us the informational tools to work with in making our decisions in favor or against legislative proposals. In previous sessions, uh, I've been very actively involved with some of the interns. Uh, one time they were assigned to individual legislators and did uh, specific research for us individually. And I found it extremely helpful because, as you know, most legislators do not have an office. The only desk we have is, is this desk here in the chamber. Uh, and these young men and young women uh, save us many hours of work. Lisa Cornwell is one of Western's two legislative interns this year. Both she and Suzanne Held work with the legislature for the entire session and obtain college credit at Western for their work. We asked Suzanne why she wanted to be a part of the legislative intern program. Well, I always wanted to be involved in government activities, like I want to work in the White House. I always wanted to work in some kind of um, federal agency, and this is really the only opportunity that I saw. Well, right now I'm doing a lot of research in the law library for bills, and I'm learning how to draft bills, and I keep a record of the actions of the bills in the House and Senate and whether they become law or not, and there's a lot of committee work. Suzanne has been assigned to the State Government Committee for this session and works closely with the committee's legislative analyst, Joyce Honecker. Um, Suzanne has been a great deal of help in, in researching some inquiries that individual legislators ask for. They have research information they'd like to get, and uh, she's helped a lot in finding background information. She's gotten in a bit to bill drafting and amendment drafting, which is a great help to us because of our workload on that score. And uh, generally, and just assisting in information gathering and uh, drafting that we have to do for the committee work. The interns are utilized as a source of manpower in a lot of different ways. Uh, during the session, we have an extra large number of requests for bill drafts, research on bills, uh, other kinds of information. Uh, and we look to them oftentimes to support our staff in committee work and doing research on committee bills and, and generally supporting our staff in their committee work. Interns that, that have come here have generally been very well prepared because they're screened so heavily so many different ways before they get to this point. Uh, they're screened initially by the campuses where they apply. There's uh, a limited number of interns can be recommended from the campus. Uh, then when they get here, they're again interviewed by a panel of academicians as well as people from our staff who are concerned with the work product so that uh, we get a very high quality student the time that process is over. These uh, men and women are well trained in research. Uh, they're very alert, very sharp on uh, political issues, uh, and then bring to our attention aspects of issues that, that we may not become acquainted with otherwise. Legislative interns do a lot of their research in the law library in the state capitol, 
and Lisa Cornwell is no exception. Lisa works closely with the Highway and Traffic Safety Committee. We asked Lisa how her educational experience at Western had helped her in her work. I think a lot of the government courses help pre prepare you for, uh, for the internship. Just in the general workings, you're a little bit more knowledgeable about what's going on. It's not so new to you when you come up. Would you recommend this to anybody else? Yes, definitely. In fact, I don't think it, it's really advertised enough. It's not out for people to, uh, to see as much. And I think it's a really good opportunity, even if you're not in government. The state government also has an administrative internship program which selects candidates every year to work with governmental agencies. Both programs have academic coordinators who work closely with the interns to ensure their success in the program. On Western's campus, Joe Uvigas, professor of public administration, has filled this essential role. The Kentucky Intern Program is a valuable way for students who want a future in government to learn the intricacies and complexities of their chosen profession firsthand. And it is also an opportunity for citizens and legislators to hear the new ideas of young, creative, and hardworking students like Suzanne and Lisa. I'm getting really involved in things, and that's what we wanted when we came up. A lot of hard work and a lot of time. Step a lot of the inside workings of politics. Uh, something that you just can't get out of the book.